Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we're taking a look at the brand new Honor Play. This is a budget gaming device from Honor, and it retails for around, should be around $300. It's not really available in the US. You can find it for about $399 on Amazon. We have a link for you guys down below. Uh, but this device packs in a lot of performance and also a lot of features. Now, here's a quick one for you guys. Before we continue, just so you know, uh, if we get up to 500 likes in this video, you guys get to win, one of you gets to win an Honor 10. Yes, we're giving away an Honor 10. Very simple, it's really easy. All you have to do is like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, because you, you have to be a subscriber, and leave a comment telling me what you like about the Honor Play, and you enter to win. I'll basically announce the winners a week from now, um, on here on YouTube. So go ahead and do that. So let's take a closer look at our device here, the Honor Play. 6.3 inches resolution, you've got 23, uh, 2340 by 1080p, a pretty snappy device altogether. You've got a nice display here that looks pretty nice. Uh, I have to say it's an LCD display. Uh, you've got a notch on top as with most devices now. 60 megapixel front facing camera. Uh, which should give you some interesting selfies when we take a look at the um, uh, at the camera. Uh, bezels are really thin, a uh, little lip here at the bottom. And of course, this is running Android 8.1. Now, if we bank around the device to the back, we've got dual camera setups. That's uh, uh, a 16 and a two megapixel. So you've got, your, you've got your bokeh effects built into this. We've also got the AI functionality on the camera, and we'll take, take a look at that. Now, we've got a fingerprint sensor here, which is really snappy. All the fingerprint sensors are really good, and this is no different on this device. Now, uh, button placements, we've got on the right-hand side, power and volume rocker, so we've got that there. On the left-hand side, you've got your uh, dual SIM tray and expandable storage uh, up to 256 gigabytes. Uh, the bottom, we do have a headphone jack as well as USB Type-C port and the singular speaker. Now this is powered by the Kirin 970 processor, so you've got a lot of performance baked into this, as well as also six gigs of RAM. Again, they are not joking when they say you can actually do a lot of gaming with this. 970 is currently the highest, most powerful processor from Honor via Huawei. So this is gonna be, it's also got that turbo boost built into it. So we'll check a look at some of the gaming as we look at this device here, but that is something to definitely take note with the Honor Play. So as we move in, let's just go ahead and just look at the software. We've got EMUI uh, in here. You can also customize it to get an app tray if you want. So if we jump in, you can see the app tray and you notice how smooth this thing runs here. Uh, a couple of games are actually pre-built in, like uh, at least were installed in like the Assassin's Creed. Uh, but you can see how smooth and fast it is. The multitask menu, Got your back button home here and we can slide we've got google assistance right here uh arsenal actually won so which is actually pretty good for me um and then we go ahead and look at some of the features we have here so we slide down the notification bar uh you can see it's quite loaded if you're not familiar with what uh honor does you've got a lot of quick settings here so you've got your navigation dock which can actually dock a navigation button to the side so you can have that to Basically tap to go home, drag left to right, all this kind of functionality is there. I don't need that right now, so I'm gonna take it off. You also have your hotspot, uh, mirroring, ultra uh, battery saver, so you can get to the most, uh, uh, the fastest way to actually uh, save your battery. Uh, you've got a couple other features here. You can edit that as well and add a few things that are there. So go ahead and hold back. Then if we go ahead and head into our settings, which we have a shortcut here, here are your settings. A lot of features in the settings menu here. Uh, and this follows what you find with Android 8.1. There are suggestions right on the top. Uh, we do have, of course, a device connection. There's NFC built in. So if you're wondering, NFC is actually there because you've got Huawei Share and Huawei Beam uh, built into that. Uh, battery. So here's the thing. This house is a 3750 milliamp battery. 
battery life on this thing is absolutely amazing. I have to tell you that it really does a fantastic job with battery life. You can see the ultra power saving mode should give you up to four days. Power saving mode will give you an extra day and 11 hours. Uh, battery usage on this thing is really, really good. I have to say, I was quite impressed and that's something they've done quite well with this device. Now, when we move down, you can look at the display here. You've got some other functionalities. Uh, your eye comfort, which you can change. Home, home style, this is where you change your home style because when you actually power up the device, it doesn't have an app tray. It's just basically standard, that's what they call it. And you can get a drawer or an app tray there for you. So that's all under your display functions. And you've got, also got some smart power management for the display to drop it down from the 1080p to 720, but really you don't need it because the battery life is really good. Now the smart rotate is also a pretty cool feature that allows you to fold the direction in your face as you're rotating the screen. So there you go. So you can see all that in there. Now let's head back and we go ahead and we see a couple of things, sound. So as I said, it's got a single speaker, so not much there. You've got a couple different uh, uh, sound options, but nothing too crazy or really adds to the sound benefit of this device here. Now your storage, as I mentioned, we've got uh, a lot of storage on this device. You've got 64 gigabytes total. Again, it's expandable. So you've got a lot of storage to, to go through with this device. Now the options for security are quite fast. So we've got um, fingerprint sensor, we've got face lock, which is pretty fast, and then we've got, of course, uh, screen lock and password. So you've got a couple of options for your security features. And the fingerprint sensor, as I mentioned, is really, really fast. Uh, a couple of smart as assistant uh, options here. So uh, there's one hand controls, you've got motion UI, flip pickup, uh, those kind of thing, three fingers to take a screenshot. Uh, we've got some voice controls, which are nothing too crazy. Um, let's go ahead and we, let's assign this. So you can do that for certain things like answering phone calls or or uh, doing an incoming broadcast or things like that. So you have that option built in. Now, um, when we go into system, just showing you what we have here in about phone, you can see this is running EMUI 8.2, Android 8.1 in terms of version. Uh, this actually, for some reason, says four gigs of RAM, which I don't know why, um, but uh, you do have up to six gigabytes of RAM in total. And uh, that's actually pretty interesting. Now, let's move out to the camera. So the camera right here, we launched the camera. One of the things the camera does have is an AI mode. Uh, again, this is something Huawei released and supported by the 970 processor, which is why this will support this as well. Doesn't mean you have the same lens. So you can disable it, you can enable the AI mode uh, in the camera, and that functions in many ways. Now, if you go into the camera settings, you can see some of the settings that you have in the camera. Uh, and we've got, you know, video option, we've got photo, uh, we've got portrait. We've got AR lenses that you can use. Then we've got aperture mode as well. Now, if we go to the end, we've got more where we can select a few things like light painting, HDR, night mode. There's a pro mode, of course, so you can actually go ahead and use uh, that, which is nice. Uh, in changing your ISO levels, things like that, uh, as well as the autofocus and balance, so the X out of the pro mode. Um, and then we've got filters, 3D creators, so on and so forth. And if you download a few more in there, which is pretty nice. Now, one thing I do want to do is look at some of the images here. So the nighttime images, I'm going to just start with what you see. First up is the nighttime images, which are nice, but uh, they are really great. You want to actually zoom into it and you can clearly see uh, this doesn't do low light too well um, for this. Um, general low light shots with you know street lighting. This is all using the AI camera, by the way. So you do see the AI camera do a lot of um, uh, filter pop. It adds a lot of you know uh, punch to it, so to speak. Now, as we move further and we go to some shots indoors, uh, pretty nice uh, here. Uh, this outdoor shots daytime is where this camera actually does a really good job, but. It is very, very punchy. I'm boring words for my buddy Myron Sells here because this really gives you a lot of bright colors. You can see uh, the HDR does a pretty good job with the sky, so you can actually see the clouds, but not as in depth as I would like. But for a device that's priced lower, 
um, with images that are really crisp and clear, especially in daytime. I think a lot of people will like this um, uh, and does a decent job. Now, in terms of the um, light focus, uh, you can see it, it does a decent job overall. Nothing too crazy. Uh, for the background there is... Uh, um, it's blurred out a little bit, but not as much as I would like, and the foreground pretty much is not. And again, it does a brightening effect as well with a lot of the images uh, during the daytime. Um, as you can see how it also brightens up the front-facing camera, so that's something to take note with this as you look at images from here. Um, yeah, so the camera itself is interesting and it's decent, I would say, nothing too crazy on this. Now, when we look at gaming on this device, this has a couple of games you can go ahead and look through. Uh, and this time we checked out Asphalt 9 and we checked out uh, Darkness Rises and they both ran really well. The 970 processor does a really good job in gaming performance. So it, it you know, it ran slight, slightly warm and I mean slightly, just a little bit. But I think this thing performed really well. Um, I think you got a really good solid gaming performance from this and you will because the 970 processor, especially with the GPU boost now, uh, has done, does a really, really good job. But in terms of audio, I want, to take you, I want you guys to take a listen to the audio off the speaker and uh, as we game here. So you've got decent audio of the speakers, a single speaker, so of course don't block that. You've also got a headphone jack, which they've done a better job improving audio here. I wouldn't say it's anything spectacular, but I'm not sure what, what DAC or amp, amp HDF you have in built into this thing, but I would say headphone jack also does a decent job as well. Um, overall, I do like what I see here. Uh, again, this is, you know, um, a full walkthrough and, you know, first impressions of the Honor Play. Um, and I think this is a good budget device to pick up, especially with what Huawei has been doing with the Honor line and the 970 processor. This is a really solid device all the way through. So if you got any questions, any comments, let me know, I'll try and answer them for you. And remember guys, we're giving away an Honor 10. So if you definitely wanna win this, all you guys have to do is go ahead, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment about what you like about the on a play and once we get up to 500 likes we're gonna go ahead and pick a winner all right guys thank you very much don't forget to like and share this video favor this video subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment